We are going to use a method called stop motion to create these really magical videos that make it look like Elf is moving all on his own or her own. I've got the female version. First things first is you're going to download a free stop motion video app. This is our app and it's called Life Labs and it's available on iOS or Android. Before we dive into the app, I'm just going to share two basic things with you on the principles of stop motion creation. So first things first, all you have to know is all stop motion is, is a sequence of photos stitched together. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be taking a photo of Elf, moving him a little, take another photo, move a little, so on and so forth. And when you play it back, it looks like he's moving on his own um, once you speed up the video. The second principle is to not move the phone while you're shooting. Because if you're moving the phone, then everything's going to be moving as you take it versus just Elf. If you have a tripod for your phone, amazing. If you don't and you want to get one, they're available on Amazon. You can probably get it overnight if you have Prime. Um, if not, we have a couple different hacks that you can use if you don't have a tripod. The hack is pretty simple and it's just to find something to lean your phone against while you're shooting. So you can use a mug, a cup, a book, anything really, um, as long as the phone is upright and not moving throughout the duration of your shoot. If you want to shoot directly down, a hack for this is to place your phone on the edge of a table or a chair. Um, this will be super handy if you're creating snow angels with Elf. Welcome to Elf on the Shelf tutorial, where Elf is unveiling a tic-tac-toe game that it would like to play with your child. The tic-tac-toe game was created using a Cricut machine. You don't need to have a special machine to create one. You can make a handmade tic-tac-toe. You can also have it so that Elf is playing tic-tac-toe with other toys. There's a lot of options around this. So in relation to the setup, the cardstock was propped up on some wooden blocks that had been taped to it, but you can use Lego or anything that you have around the house for this and it was propped up. The tic-tac-toe game is underneath and you're just moving the cardstock with the elf bit by bit to have it look like the elf is revealing the game bit by bit ready to play. Just be mindful of any movement of the game underneath. You may need to adjust it as it starts to appear. Hot tip. For your Capture Elf Move videos, you're going to want to use either a Bluetooth remote or the in-app interval timer to take each photo. This will ensure that you avoid having a shaky video.
So once you have all of your shots, you're going to want to open up the in-app editor. The e.l.f. videos don't require a lot of editing. You can choose to freeze the end scene if you wish. You can also duplicate any frames. Basically, you just want it to only play through once. So you can adjust these things or you can also change the speed or brightness accordingly. Once you've done any of your edits, then you can save your video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please smash that like button. It really helps get our brand in front of more eyes. This is only one of many Elf on the Shelf video tutorials that we have. If you want to access more ideas on how to bring Elf on the Shelf to life and create videos of him caught on camera moving around your house, please click the link in the description below to access the full playlist. If you share your video on social media, I'd absolutely love to see it. Please include the hashtag ElfOnTheShelfVideo so I can see what you guys are creating. Thanks for watching.